so we're moving to Canada. It was the night before Christmas. I was closing down for business in my little prison shop. Where's Elfie? Is Elfie near the Christmas tree? Where's Elfie? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Elfie's flying! Oh my gosh! Hi Elfie! Let me help you get Elfie down. <gasps> you found Elfie, baby! Yeah. And he brought you a candy cane! Yeah. Elfie, what are you doing? Welcome back to another Vlogmas video. This is like the first official video. Yesterday was kind of like the lead up into Vlogmas. Um, it is December the 1st today and we're going to um, Fia's grandma's and we're setting up her Christmas tree. As you can tell, I'm one of those people who set up my Christmas decorations in December. What oh, baby? Um, just because... I can. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to her house and we're setting up the tree. And if the weather's good, we're going to go to the Christmas carols tonight. It is raining outside and Theo and I are not 100% well. We've got like a bit of a like nasal, chesty, germy thing. So yeah, it just depends on the weather because I don't want to be taking Theo out in like the cold and rain. Um, but hopefully, fingers crossed that it clears up because it'll be really exciting to take him to the Christmas carols. I think he'll absolutely enjoy that. And we did the elf on the shelf this morning. Yay! Excuse me, you're turning the camera. Um, so he is actually zip lining into the Christmas tree, which is super fun. So a little way that I decorate the house for Christmas is I actually take Christmas photos of Theo every year and us and switch them out of the photo frames, like our old, old pictures and put the Christmas ones in. I think this is a really nice way to like personalize um, like your house with Christmas decor. And how cute is he? Oh my gosh, guys. I'm on my way to Isaac's parents' house. They do have Theo. They took him for the morning because they did an activity with him. So we're going over there and we're going to be setting up the Christmas decorations, which is really exciting. quite some time later I feel like I always always do this I always forget to pick up the camera but I did come home from Isaac's parents and I glammed their tree guys me and Isaac's mom got up to some some shopping under my influence sorry Jeff <laughs> we believe I'm sure it doesn't care he'd care if we found out how much okay we spent no, it wasn't that much. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so we did the tree. I didn't actually film that much. Um, yeah, because I just, I just get way too into things and got fixated and didn't stop until I was done because I do that hey, all the time. 
Anyway, yeah, so we're moving to Canada too. <laughs> No. We're already planning it, no. planning on doing it when our baby is one years old. No, it's all up in the air, but... It was oh. literally discussed yesterday and no, Tara wants I to do it. No, no, that's not true. It was this morning. <laughs> but no, that's not true. Because how many times yeah, have you talked about moving overseas? Yeah, and then we made a different overseas? decision and then now you're like going on a different decision. No, I've just come back to decision A. Okay, we've been tossing up a few things because obviously after the wedding we have to like save towards something else because that's just life and I'm a planner, Isaac's spontaneous, no he's actually not, but anyway, basically we either save up for a house deposit and buy a house or we save up to move overseas for six months. Um, the only thing like really stopping us from moving overseas is the dogs. I just want to know that they're going to be with family, if family is available to take them on. Um, but if we do decide to move overseas, it won't be until like 2021 or like towards 2022 anyway, because obviously we need to save up to move overseas because who knows, you wouldn't, well, going over with children, you wouldn't want to go over and not have money. <laughs> I feel like once you buy a house, you're committed to the house until you have like some type of other income but i feel like i don't know if whilst we're young we should just just do it yeah but even let me like say my <laughs> opinion just keep going okay great i feel like i'm gonna make a proper decision once we get married and i feel like we're where we're where we want to go at that point yeah we're moving to canada <laughs> no no yes. um to be honest i'd love to move to the states because my heart my heart's just in the States, man. Like, I'm meant to be American. Why was I born in Australia? Why? The problem is, like, it's harder for Australians to go to America compared to Canada. Like, it's easier for us to get, like, permits and visas to go to Canada. But if we go to Canada, then we can go to Toronto, which is near New York. I was about to say Newcastle. New York, which means we can go to America. And it, it's just a win-win. I'm so excited and I fully I'm gonna put my hand up I always go on these tangents where I just like get so fixated on something but no it's okay because I just feel like whilst Fia is young and he's not in school we may as well take advantage and travel overseas and well move overseas because that's definitely on my bucket list like I want to so badly live in another country for like a few months and see how we take it from there Hmm. Like, whilst we're young, whilst we have no, no like tie downs, because I feel like once we buy a house, it's gonna be a, like a financial tie down. Like, it's not like we can just up. And that's like one positive thing about renting. Like, once our lease is up, we can just like up and go. Anyway, we're about to make dinner. We're trying the Gardein, Gardein. How do you say it? Gardein. Guardian. Um, chicken patties. <laughs> So we're just gonna make like sandwich burger things. Isaac's gonna make them because he's good at it. I cooked the patties, so <laughs> it's very already... hard. No, okay, you're gonna construct them. I've already cut the lettuce and the tomatoes. Oh, and guys, we are about to have a Jane the Virgin marathon because we're marathon. Yeah, what, you're gonna watch a, a two, whole a whole two episodes. A whole two episodes. It's a marathon, guys. Actually, yeah, no, they go for like forty five. A marathon, Tiana, is like an all-nighter. <laughs> okay, nobody can do an all-nighter with toddler. You can, but you just you just screwed the <laughs> next just, day. You're just like setting yourself up for failure. But yeah, we're like kind of obsessed with Jane the Virgin at the moment. So we're going to like end the vlog here and hope you like this little chit chat. And yeah, if you do... Don't forget to subscribe because we are doing Vlogmas, so uploads every single day. And if you do like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Bye, guys! <laughs>